All right, this is it. We've crossed the highway from uh, Marlborough and we're now on the old Bruce Highway, which is also known as the Horror Stretch. This is it. We're on the murder highway. Ooh. In every country, there is a road where tragedy, death, and disappearances happen in such abundance that these lonely stretches become an ugly wound on the landscape, a place to avoid and forget. In Queensland, the 150-mile corridor of the Old Bruce Highway that connects Marlborough to Serena is one such place. Known as the Horror Stretch, this area has had the curse of death over it since 1966, when the body of 50-year-old Raymond Muir was pulled from Funnel Creek, wrapped in chicken wire and weighted down with tires. A short time later, the body of John Henry Smith was found similarly dumped. In 1967, caravanning couple Ron and Joyce Linfoot were shot at by a sniper while making a pit stop. Although they managed to speed off to Rockhampton and survived the attack, Ron was left permanently paralyzed from the waist down. The most notorious incident of violence on the Old Bruce, however, occurred in 1975, when the bodies of skydiving couple Noel and Sophia Weckert were discovered near Funnel Creek. Noel had been shot twice in the head while he sat, still buckled in, behind the steering wheel of his car. Sophia's body was recovered five days later and 15 miles north of where her husband was found, a single gunshot wound to the back of her head. In 1982, the Bruce Highway underwent major upgrades, which saw the completion of a faster route between Rockhampton and Mackay that ultimately rendered the Marlboro to Serena section obsolete. Today, the old Bruce, with its neglected potholes and flood-damaged abandoned buildings, undulates into the scrub, lonelier than ever, heavy with silence. As seekers of the strange and macabre, we knew we had to cycle this part of the highway and see what the road had in store for us. Okay, we've um, stopped for lunch in this very picturesque location here with the side of the road. Gonna have some fruit, gonna have some hummus wraps. We've never done that before. We were trying to think of other things we could put in wraps other than cheese, which gets all melted and gross out here in Queensland. And um, yeah, we've gone for hummus and salad wraps. It's day two and the salad's starting to get pretty gross. But other than that, it's working out quite nice. Bonnie's over here at this tree that's surrounded by cacti. Cactuses. <laughs> so uh, anyway, we were going to lean our bags against it, but I'm glad we spotted those. Uneventful day so far. Hilly, flies, yeah. So we've had a pretty hilly morning. This place is, um, this road's a lot more undulating than I expected. I knew it'd be like, you know, worse than the highway, but yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a little bit of work this morning. We've gotten used to the flat highway riding. Um, but now it looks like we've passed that and we're onto like some floodplains, which is funny because if we were riding this road, you know, in three months time in the wet season, we'd be at risk of um, getting stuck. So we're getting towards Clark Creek now. So I found a guy on warm showers in Mackay and uh, messaged him in the hope that maybe we could stay there. He never got back to me, which, you know, that's just sometimes how it goes with warm showers. But his profile is like a full guide to, to cycling in the area. It's nuts. So he, he says this is the best way to cycle to Mackay from the south, you know. And um, anyway, there's loads of good details about where to get water, where to camp, stuff like that. 
So apparently Clark Creek that we should be at in another 5k, according to his guide, there's a water tank there. So we'll be able to fill up in water there. There's also a camp, a campsite nearby. I don't think it's like an official one, but it's on wiki camps. So there's obviously a lot of people camping there. It's like down by a creek, by a bridge. Um, it's meant to be a really lovely spot. Um, so we might go there. Or we might just see what it's like by the water tank. If it's at like a rec reserve or something, maybe we'll just chance to camp there. Anyway, nearly there. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, see this toilet's right here. We can't get into them because they're all fenced in there though. <laughs> oh, there's a tap there. Sweet. Uh, a bit of a trickle. Okay, so we're at Clark Creek uh, at the, the rec reserve, the school, whatever. And um, yeah, so that tap right there, the tank is empty, but Bonnie found the beige tank. I would later read the map and it's a beige tank we want. And Bonnie found it, she poured it, and a little wormy came out. It was floating around in a bottle, swimming around. So um, that's fine, we've got a filter, so we're just gonna wheel everything around to where that tank is. And um, yeah, stock up on water. That's the tank over there. School's over there. This is the um, like the town hall here. Toilets right there. Okay, so whenever we come across some suspect water, this is our system for dealing with it. Got this big two liter bag. So this is our dirty water bag. We never put clean stuff in this. This is always dirty water. Um, and I'll fill it. So this is our water that had a worm in it earlier. So we'll just uh, whoop. and we use it in conjunction with this catadine B3 filter, which has a very high flow rate. It gets clogged extremely easily. So if you use this in murky, hazy water, it's gonna, you're not gonna be able to filter much before you have to like clean it out. I find the best way to clean it is with hot water, not boiling hot, cause you'll melt it, but warm. So yeah, the threads line up with that. And then you just uh, squeeze the bag, like some bagpipes, and it forces the water through the filter we have nice drinkable clean water. Seems like it's leaking out the side a little bit, but we'll just try not to get that in the bottle already. Right? Nice clean water. Perfect. Okay, I don't know how well that's gonna come across, but there's a couple of wormies in this. There we go, look. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad Ugh. we are. I'm glad we are filtering this. God, be gross. Ugh. Anyone know what those are? Bonnie thinks they're leeches. Mm. I'm not so sure. They do kind of look like leeches. Yeah. So whilst filtering water, we're kind of checking this place out, and um, we think we're going to do a stealth camp here. I mean, we've got like a roof over us because um, we do think it's going to rain tonight. It's looking pretty murky up there so yeah there's every chance it's gonna rain um but also this is the most concealed sort of out the way place where no one's gonna see us there's a toilet over there there's the water tank there this is the perfect little stealth camp spot also like i've looked around in that direction there's just like a pylon and some outbuildings in that direction there's just like the showground stuff and a tin shed and whatever. The school's over there. There's like, there's no one here. We're the only people here. So yeah, seems like the best place we could possibly be really. All right, there's our little compound there. I've just decided to have a little 
explore over here by um, the showgrounds a bit. There's like tennis courts and a pool over there. That may be part of the school. Got some bleachers here. Over here's the big ring. I don't know what you call this. I guess they ride horses around in there or something. Stands. I wonder if maybe this is like the bar area or something. Yeah, it looks like it. It's like fridges and stuff. Yeah, it's like a kitchen in here. Cool. All locked up in the cage. Wonder if those sockets work over there. This wall's making a lot of noise. Maybe there's a fridge. The Charlie Day Arena. Another toilet over there. dog barking over there which isn't good because um, they might alert someone to my presence and we're not doing anything wrong I'm just having a look around but um, yeah we want to keep this stealthy you never know okay so it's dinner time we have made quite the mess here um, we're currently making a sort of um, chickpea curry. We've got some uh, rice happening um, and it's all being made easier by the fact we now have a new utensil here and um, thanks to Anita for giving us this nice silicon bowl slash Tupperware container thing. It's awesome. Um, yeah, curry happening. All right, so in the time we've been cooking this it has gotten uh, very dark out. But here it is, our um, poor man's curry. All right. Oh, thank you. Taste it. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Let's see, uh, it looks really good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mmm, yeah. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> All I can see is Ooh, like your head torch looking at me. Oh. <laughs> it's spicy. Um, good. It's got a nice kick to it. Great. Time to chow down. All right, good morning from our sneaky little camp at the back of the community hall. Great night, honestly. Like, um, it didn't rain like crazy hard last night, like we thought it might, but it, you know, it, um, it, it there was a bit of a drizzle. I'm still glad we weren't in it. We didn't even put the fly sheet on. Um, so, you know, we don't have anything, any wet sheets or anything to deal with there. Um, <laughs> Bonnie's just filtering water. That's what you can hear in the background. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that like kind of arena thing over there, that like, that oval. Um, I think I figured out what it's for. Um, when I was going to the toilets, there was a check-in code thing for an event and it said the, the Clark Creek Camp Draft. So I'm reading this and I think Camp Draft, you know, there's a bunch of horse stuff over here. There's like manure everywhere. There's like hay all over the ground. So I thought Camp Draft, is that just, you know, the campground for those guys? Or is that what this area is? Turns out camp draft is actually a unique Australian sport where they like get in there on in that arena thing on horseback with cattle and they're like maneuvering cattle about. 
you learn something new every day. So it's a pretty nice day today. It's not too hot yet. Should be pretty good for cycling. So um, we're just gonna have a quick bite to eat and hit the road to Lotus Creek where we're gonna see something pretty cool. And then after that, it's a long, maybe 80K stretch to our camp tonight. So today in total, I think we're gonna be doing maybe 105, 106K. Um, which is the biggest one we've done in a little while, um, but the road's been pretty good and I think this section should be a bit flatter than yesterday. I, I hope. Right, so back on the murder highway, the horror stretch. So far, um, nothing unsightly has happened. We haven't seen or experienced anything, uh, anything that warrants horror. <laughs> Bit of a nasty hill to get over here now. And shortly thereafter, we'll be in Lotus Creek. Lotus Creek is the home of the only real landmark on this stretch of road. Other than that, there ain't much going on. So we should be rolling into there within the next 20 minutes or so and um, yeah, we'll show you what's up. Okay, so we are at Lotus Creek and there ain't much here other than Croydon Memorial Park. Okay, well, Croydon Commemorative Park is special because it has a giant Olympic torch from the 1956 games. So this highway we're on, this is the old Bruce Highway. So back when this was still in use um, as a major road, uh, I guess the Olympic torch, it passed here. So they put this uh, here in this area called Lotus Park, or Lotus Creek, sorry. Um, maybe there used to be a town here, but yeah, this torch is literally in the middle of nowhere. So I guess the 1956 games were actually held in Melbourne. Um, when we stayed in Rocky, we stayed um, in a cabin that was used at um, the 2000, or was it 2001? the 2001 Olympic Games, which was in Sydney. So yeah, we've, um, it's, it's kind of funny. We're seeing a lot of Olympic history from multiple Olympic Games in this area. Uh, anyway, this is your one attraction, your one landmark on the old Bruce Highway, um, other than the fact a bunch of people were murdered here, supposedly. Okay, so we just spotted the sign for the Lotus Creek Tourist Park in 10K time. I don't know if I mentioned, but like the, the campsite out here, there was a campsite and a shop, everything you need, but there was a great big flood that came through and just wrecked the whole place. And as far as I'm aware, they, I don't know if there was plans to rebuild, but it, it closed down for then anyway. So yeah, that's another reason there's not much out here, because the only thing that was out here got absolutely decimated by a flood. kind of crazy how quiet it is here it's just considering this used to be like the main highway before they built the new Bruce highway over there on the other side of those hills this was the main thoroughfare and there's no one out here kind of creepy given its history Too bad, man. Okay, yeah, yeah. Rainwater here if you want some. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah sure, wouldn't mind. Okay. Yeah. yeah, top up and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, man. Thanks yeah. very much. Yeah. Where did you come from? Oh. Where were we camping? Um, Clark Creek. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and before that, um, oh, we came from um, out at Rocky. Now oh, Rocky I'll up to Marlborough. What, making good time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you'd be this far. Oh, you've seen us? Yeah, I went out there this morning. Oh. Ah, okay. Yeah, I went out there this morning. I passed you just the other side of the Connell River. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, I don't think you're this far, John. <laughs> <laughs> people are. Look. Hey, man, <laughs> oh, God, thank you. God, we thought we were going slow. We're tired. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I just went out and got some Gumby Gumby. Gumby Gumby? Yeah, it's a medicine tree. Oh, okay. cool. Yeah, like our family's been using it for thousands of years to heal oh. our bodies inside and out. Oh. Oh, I make cool. soap and cream with it. Cool. Nice. Yeah, so I went and got some more. I got the big bin there full of it. Oh, so it just grows around here? Yeah, or? no, well, yeah. I don't know if there's any around here. Um, but yeah, out around Clark Creek, that's where my grandmother's country is. Oh, wow. oh cool. So I'll go out there and harvest it out there. And So do you like sell it anywhere? Yeah, or yeah, yeah I'm online. Oh, oh nice. sweet. Yeah, that's my card. Oh, oh awesome, yeah. Oh, cheers, thank you. So awesome. I, don't know if you, I don't know if you get any out of here, but that's my, that's my okay. cream. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank oh. you. <laughs> I, only, I only got a little bit, but... No, that's fine. That's my cream, oh, yeah, Oh, it yeah. smells lovely. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh. I've got burns. Oh, yeah, put yeah, it on yeah, your sunburn. Yeah, yeah, sunburn. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. I've got a bit of a tan, but that sun is just so strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll never get any more out of oh. here. But... Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, I love that smell. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, well. Sir, what, what people uh, was it uh, who traditionally owned this? Oh, I'm a Barada man. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's three clan groups up there where we are. Oh, okay. Barada, Cabo Barada, and Yetamala. Oh, I'm a cool. Barada. Wow. Yeah, that's a gumby leaf there, see? Oh, beautiful. You can drink that and make tea with it and everything. Ooh. Oh, nice. Mm. That sounds nice. Wow. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't that's... know anything about that. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's cool. a, yeah, it's a native tree, like it's uh, a medicine tree. Yeah, yeah. Like the study's been done, done in New South Wales and Germany, oh. and it's good for like cancer and eczema oh, and wow. psoriasis, oh. body huh. aches, oh. like uh, all sandfly bites and mozzies and all that kind of stuff. Oh, oh cool. Nice. Yeah. Like, I, I take it home and I extract the medicine from it and make my soap and cream. I think this is meant to be a campsite, maybe in another 20k or something like that. Yeah. 15 or 20k. Where there was a campsite down this way, so I think we're going to go and have a look at that. Yeah, well, there's a river, there's a, um, another creek, big creek coming up down there, people camp there. Oh, yeah? Oh, okay. That might be it. That must be it. Yeah, yeah. I bet that's it. So we're going to check there, see what that's like. If that's any good, we might just camp there. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Hey, look. Oh. Oh. Have a go. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Nice that's really kind Thank you, you so much. Thank you. And sorry, what, what is your name? Kevin. Kevin. It's on the card, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Dave. Dave. I'm yep. Bonnie. Bonnie. Yeah. Yep. No worries. Yeah, nice meeting you. Right, then I'm going to get some stuff and see who's on the way back. Yeah, right, awesome. We'll see you out there. Oh, thank you. Right, right you're right. Thank you. Well, awesome. Yeah, well, lovely guy. How about that? Road magic. Kevin, what a gentleman. Got orange juice. Orange juice. And water. Filled up our water bottles. <laughs> Um, and uh, Bonnie's got his card there yeah. for his Gumby Gumby medicine and balms and creams and soaps. Let's have a look. Check it out. McGumby. And Get online, buy his stuff. He's got Instagram too, so I'm going to... Uh, we go. Oh, we got the, like, the, yeah, the QR, QR code. codes there. I don't know if anyone will be able to get that off of this video, yeah. but I'm sure if you search for McGumby on Instagram... Amazing! <laughs> it's so cool. So yeah, you might come back and uh, supply us with some balms for the for our, our aches and pains and sunburns. That would be awesome. <laughs> so cool. Yeah.